So my peacock gudgeon, come on focus. Don't swim away, cause I need them to see. Ripped off the entire bottom fin of my Emperor Tetra. So I am really annoyed I'm gonna have to take this one upstairs and treat it with Melifix so it could heal and not be harassed. And it and 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 I can't wait to do a species profile on these peacock gudgeons because uh, they're supposedly so peaceful when which one is this one? This is the newer one. This one got in the tank. It's when the aggression started. When my older one was in the tank, she didn't do nothing to nobody. She wasn't attacking nobody, wasn't nipping at no tails. But this one definitely does it. And, I, and the other one does it too. I don't know if it, I don't know why the aggression with them two just came out, started happening. But I'm pretty annoyed with it. Um, she. The other emperor, you need to just stay away. The other emperor tattoo stays in the corner. Whenever the peacock gudgeon like swims by them, any one of them, any one of the emperor tattoos, then they just run. So they pretty, they know that these things are aggressive. I don't know what's that sticking out on the bottom of my peacock gudgeon though. So I hope that's poop. Oh, it's poop. Okay. <laughs> I was getting kind of worried there. But um, this is my older one and the newer peacock gudgeon. I just changed the water. I got to clean off the glass, of course, again. But I'm pretty annoyed with them. And they're the other reason I really started my tank, started back in the hobby, because uh, I really wanted them because I thought they were so pretty. I still haven't got a male to keep in here. Hopefully when I get a male, um, I don't know, he'll keep them occupied some kind of way because this is, this is a start, this is the third one I have. Remember the, um, the beta, the female beta that was pink and blue, ripped the entire bottom of her fin off on the bottom. Um, I have another pink, pinkish fish. I don't know what it is, it was just pretty to me. Um, that I had to put out there because I saw the peacock gudgeon rip the bottom, uh, rip the tail off. And now we have the emperor attacher with the tail rip that I have to take upstairs and treat with Malefix as well. So I don't know if it's the color that's triggering them because I had guppies in here when I only had the one peacock gudgeon. There were guppies in here and they didn't bother, she hurt, she didn't bother them at all, but the turn, it's turning into a little terror type of thing. They're being little terrors with certain fish. They don't bother the garamis, they don't bother the amber tetras, they don't bother, which is basically all I have, amber tetras, garamis. Oh, I have the rainbow, they don't bother the rainbow. Oh, the male rainbow is upstairs, he's doing better already like he's swimming around um but they definitely bother the other the other fish and i'm getting really 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 frustrated to have to keep moving fish upstairs to treat because these little guys are ripping and they ain't even like just knit they are ripping tails off the bottom of these fish, she's swimming upright cause she can't even really swim now. They got him too, but you know, look at his tail. But it's growing back, I left him in here because he only calmed down when I got the two females. He was um, being a little terror in the tank, but you know, I saw that at the pet shop before I got him, so I knew that. And when I got the two males, y'all can see the whole story in my other videos, but he really calmed down. He ain't showing no aggression towards no other fish. I mean, he'll like kind of chase them a little bit when it's feeding time, when the food start running out. But that's it. Nothing like just walking, swimming up to the fish and just ripping their tail for no reason at all. But that's my story. 
I can't wait to do a speech profile. I'm going I'm to I'm read everything that they say about the Peacock Gudges and everything I've heard. And I'm going to just tell about my experiences that I've been having with them so far. Um, they're still beautiful fish. I still like them. But um, <sighs> it's just really frustrating.